Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kat and today I'm going to be planning the month of June in my bullet journal. So on my bullet journal setups I always like to do a quick flip through and review of my past month and the month of May was really interesting to do because I really liked my theme, it was very coquette and I still have a very coquette stationary grab bag available on my shop and this was one of the most beautiful themes that I did this year and I really like how it turned out. I used a bunch of pinks and reds and strawberries and bows and it was really cute so I'm really proud of how this uh, theme turned out. I ended up doing some rolling weekly spreads and a habit tracker and a mood tracker and I had a lot of fun completing everything and my weekly spreads have been working out really really well. And for June I'm actually going to do a weekly spread in this video so stay tuned for that but as you know I normally do them as I go throughout the week because I never know how much space for each day I need so that's what I've been doing lately and I really like how everything turned out on this theme I had a lot of space for my to-dos for my goals I'm still going through the wedding preparation um, checklist I really like having a mood tracker in my bullet journal this month. I think it's the first one for this year and last year I did one probably in like September. So it's been a while since I did a mood tracker but I really missed it and I'm really glad that I did one for May. And for my habit tracker it has been going well and yeah I really like this theme and the functionality of it and I'm really happy with it. Now let's move on into my June bullet journal setup. So for my June theme, I initially was going to do a boho rainbow theme to match my stationary grab bag for June, but June is such an important month that I didn't want it to do a random theme. So I decided that since it's going to be my wedding in the 16th of June and our theme is really gothic and black, why not do that theme for my bullet journal? And so with that idea, I also had the idea to use our wedding invitations to be part of the cover page for my bullet journal and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is our invitation. This has a lot of meaning behind the invitation, it's just not black and white and stars. There's a lot of meaning and hidden gems in our wedding invitation. The theme for our wedding is black and gothic and so with that in mind I also wanted to use a washi tape that would match that aesthetic and I have this one from the washi tape shop which is just filled with black roses and I found it perfect for this theme. I haven't used this washi tape before because the roses aren't actually peeled stickers, you actually have to cut them from the washi tape and that was a bummer for me so I didn't use it yet. So I'm going to use it in this theme because I feel like it's the washi tape that matches perfectly with the theme of our wedding and with the wedding invitation and the vibe that I wanted for this theme, so that's exactly what I'm going to use. This theme is going to be on the minimal side when it comes to supplies, I'm going to just only use like four supplies in total and it's going to look maximalist, which is the good combination that I like in my themes, themes that look full but don't use a lot of supplies, nor take a lot of your time. So yeah, that is going to be the whole idea behind this theme. So first I started by cutting up all of the roses that were on the washi tape. This washi tape has a lot of different designs for roses. Some are bigger, some are smaller, so you have a lot of things to play with when creating a theme with this washi tape. I'm going to link it down below and you can use my code CAT10 for 10% off at the washi tape shop. I love their washi tapes and of course that you can use my code to get a discount, but remember that I also sell washi tape samples on my shop. And I just had a Mother's Day sale last weekend and now I'm just going to just do a clearance sale because I'm moving. So yeah, all of the things are going to be available in the links below in the description box. So in the meantime that I'm cutting up all the roses to use on my theme, I'm going to talk about the stationary grab bag for June. So as you know, every 15th of every month I release a new stationary grab bag on my shop and normally is limited edition and there's only a few in stock. But for this month I decided to change things up a little bit because I understand that not everyone likes a black and white stationary grab bag and if you want a black and white stationary grab bag I already sell neutral bags on my shop. So I wanted to do something that it would be related to something that I love as well. So I created the Aqua Love stationary grab bag for June. 
This grab bag includes everything about the ocean. I love the ocean. My engagement ring is blue like the ocean because I loved the design of the ring and that color is actually my favorite color. So I love the ocean and sea creatures so I decided to create a stationary grab bag that would mean love to me in a different way. And this grab bag is going to be available on the 15th, so you can already purchase it on my shop if it's not sold out. So I really hope you enjoyed this stationary grab bag for June. It's only going to be available for a month. So make sure you check it out at catsplanner.com or at the link below in the description box. So after I had most of my roses cut up, I started placing them down on my bullet journal. And the idea was to have the invitation in the front and the roses kind of like peeking out behind the invitation. So you can still see the invitation in some roses, but it's not the whole focus and they are not covering the invitation. So that's what I had in mind and that's exactly what I did. And when I was happy with all the roses in the background, I stuck my invitation to the page of my bullet journal and it was pretty much done. Then I just placed a little piece of paper with some calligraphy that says June on top of the date of our wedding and that was basically it for my cover page really simple it just took like five minutes to do and it looks just like i wanted this is the vibe of our wedding and i'm really happy with how it turned out so far so now let's move on to my other pages in my june bullet journal so june is going to be a very important and busy month so i created on the right page a to-do section and a habit section for June. I'm going to have a bunch of things to do, but I'm going to also be very busy, so I really have to balance my productivity and resting time with everything that I have to do. In June is my mom's, my grandma, and my birthday. I'm going to have my bachelorette party, I'm going to have my wedding, and you know, there's a lot of other things happening that I can even remember, so there's a lot of things going on. So I really need a page that is big enough for me to have all of my to-dos and also a section for my habits so I don't forget to do them throughout the month. So here I used my Kuretake brush pen for the mini titles and the N75 Tombo Dual brush pen for the highlights on the to-do list. Below that I have my habits and I'm going to only focus on three this time. Normally I just do three but in reality I focus on a lot more habits. But for June I mainly want to focus on my reading. I'm currently reading Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert and it's one of my favorite books so I feel like rereading them is a big help in getting back into reading if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing and I'm reading that and I also want to stay strong at the gym because I have been training for my wedding day but it's not because I'm married that I'm not going to still work out if that makes sense. I love working out so I have that tracker here to just keep track of the days that I work out and my frequency and everything. So those are going to be my habits and that is it for my to-do list and habit trackers for June. My next page in this theme is going to be a big calendar for June. So I call this page This Month in Memories because I really want to write down and have a physical memory in my bullet journal of all the things that happened throughout the month. I normally just do this page when I know that something is going to happen. I did a similar one for Italy. It didn't have the actual squares for each day, but it was just a blank page, which I'm going to do next as well. But for this time, I also wanted to have a page with a big calendar where I would just add the days and the activities or things that happened every day. I'm not that good at keeping track of these and to write things down every single day. So let's see how it goes. And I also use this circular X-Acto knife, I don't even know the name of it, to cut around the title. And let me tell you that I thought this tool was going to be easier to use, but it's actually really hard. And I actually liked how it turned out. I mean, I could have done the same thing with a normal X-Acto knife, but I got this circular one from Timu. And now you can use my code below, and it's on the screen, to get um, $100 coupons on Timu with my code. And I ordered it from Timu, and it was actually really cool. I've seen it a bunch of times on TikTok, and I wanted to try it, but it's actually not as easy as it looks. So I'm sorry if you can't see me cutting it 
because it was really hard to see and to use so but maybe I'm just out of practice but I used that for the title and then I just outlined each box with a Muji 0.38 fine liner so I could have the little squares for each day and I used the same technique with the squares and the roses for the calendar itself so the roses are semi behind the calendar but in some instances you can see the roses in front of some of the squares if that makes sense I really like how it turned out it's a pretty full page for me I think it's a bit too much but this was the idea that I had in mind and I really like how it turned out I really wanted to use the roses as the background and these stickers these are some potion stickers from Sticky Club that I got a while ago they were really gothic and I thought that they would fit perfectly with this theme so I used them and I'm really happy with how they turned out the next page as I mentioned before is just going to be for memories so I added some roses on the background and I'm basically just going to stick a bunch of things and souvenirs and photos into this page to just create a mini album of our wedding and my birthday here and anything else that happens throughout June to be honest but I really wanted a place to just have my memories and this page is going to be for it and I just put some roses in the background and it did the job so yeah stay tuned for July where I post this page with all our memories on my Instagram and last but not least I'm going to finish up this setup with a weekly spread so I don't really do weekly spreads on camera but like I mentioned at the beginning of the video when my weeks are going to be chaotic or I just know that I'm not going to have time to be on my bullet journal but I still need to check things off and to see what I have to do for every day I like to have pre-done weekly spreads this is something that just works for me on those situations you do you, bullet journal is really flexible so this is what works for me and I just decided to do a very very simple weekly spread this isn't an even weekly spread because I have more than seven days here but you get the idea I just like to have mini squares for each day and how many days I can fit on the page with decorations it's the days that I do I don't really keep track on the days of the month nor the week that we are in I just like my to do's and every day is a different day if that makes sense so I don't guide myself by weeks I guide myself by day by day if that makes sense so I just added a couple of roses on my weekly spread I actually don't like to have a lot of decorations on my weekly spread because it can be pretty chaotic and full with tasks and to do's so I just like to keep them simple and I use the gray Pentel Fuda touch pen for the mini headers for each day and I'm really sorry about the lighting on this footage it was really dark at night so I needed a bit more of light and it kinda sucked on the video so I'm really sorry about that but this is how my weekly spread turned out and even though it's super simple it gets the job done and it's exactly what I need for a busy day so I hope you enjoyed my wedding theme bullet journal setup for June I know that this is not everyone's cup of tea it's maybe too dark too gothic too plain but this is the theme of my wedding and I'm really excited for it and I really wanted to do this theme for my bullet journal setup so that's exactly what I did and it turned out beautiful so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like it and comment a goth or black emoji if you watched it until this point don't forget to check out the June stationery grab bag aqua love on my shop at castplanner.com and I'll see you in my next video bye guys